Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster Perfect Stats Guide. Uh, so we're about to do the Narsh Defense, I guess it's called. And um, yeah, we're going to protect protect this Esper from Kefka. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, cu couple of things I want to bring up for this one. Now, there's a, basically a, a, some of this stuff is uh, missable right here. And... Uh, the, the mega armor that was, uh, you know, we could have actually got into that formation uh, in the in, in lock scenario. Uh, but I chose not to because I wanted to pick it up here instead. I'll be honest, I'm not sure that that was the best way. You know, I mean, it, it ended up working out, uh, but it, it was a lot more tricky than uh, I had originally thought it was going to be. Uh and so, and also, we you know we want to try to get through this without getting any experience. Uh, so what actually we can do here is to uh, die essentially to any of these soldiers, uh, and it's a lot like the the the, the Terra defense from the very beginning of the game, where uh, if you get knocked out or everybody gets eliminated, you don't get a game over. I think other than, I think if you lose to Kefka, then I think that might be a game over. But uh, what I do is I take all three of these uh, groups and stick them down uh, kind of in the corner and let all of the green soldiers get by. Uh, and that gets us into this battle here uh, with the brown soldier. Now, uh, that is the mega armor. That is the one that I wanted to grab. And again, the reason why I wanted that formation instead of the one from earlier in the game was that uh, the heavy armor in lock scenario is by itself. Uh, generally here, what also what you want to do is, I was just watching these soldiers as they zipped around to try to see if I could, you know, ninja my way. And they're actually, I could have, I could have got by, I think, uh, in that one spot if I wanted to. Um, but here, again, what I'm doing actually is to just, uh, uh, let these enemies knock Terra out. And, uh, and yeah, that'll, that'll bring us back to the beginning. Uh, so now I've got two of the formations. There's actually a third one, though. Uh, well, actually, technically, there's four total formations here that I wanted to get. Uh, and uh, and this is the Rider, or Hell's Rider. Uh, I'm going to steal from him, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just let him knock us out. Uh, he's pretty brutal. That's why I brought Gao in with this one as well. I didn't want Gao in my, like, Kefka kill group because he's unpredictable and... Uh, I, he, you know, he actually does work. He would work in that uh, in that battle if I had Cat Scratch. That would have been fine, but uh, I didn't grab the Stray Cat quite yet, uh, so I didn't have that. So uh, I just figured, uh, you know, I would I would uh, wait on that. But uh, there, if you notice there, I, so I brought the kill group down kind of in front of the rider, but make sure not to get too close. And then here again is where the tricky part is at, right? I'm trying to get by the green soldiers. And then I saved right there uh, so that when I get into this uh, battle here, I wanted to make sure it was the Corporal Fidor. Now, I actually had to reset this quite a few times uh, to make sure that I got this specific formation because I kept getting that Mega Armor uh, formation again with the Corporal. So, uh, again, I just, uh, you know, I, I think that was three or four saves there. And if you notice there up at the top, too, the Green Soldiers are getting really, really close to Bannon. <laughs> I mean, look at that. They're, they're right there. So um, that's why I said that this got a little bit, you know, uh, it was a little uncomfortable, honestly. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull this off, but uh, it just ended up working out just, just right. Uh, and also there's one more formation for sure there with the green soldiers, and it's just four corporals together. And again, that's redundant. There's no reason to, to get that. Obviously, there's, you know, all the other formations have... Uh, corporals, or some of the other formations have corporals in them, uh, and so there wasn't really a reason to to pick that one up. But uh, here's Kefka. Uh, Kefka's, <laughs> I mean, he's actually super easy. Uh, you just runic with uh, with Celeste every turn. Uh, Sabin uses Aura Vault, and uh, Cyan will use uh, Dispatch. Is that what it's called in this one? Is it Dispatch? And then yeah, so Celeste is uh, absorbing uh, with runic. Uh, it, it's the same thing. Oh, Fang. I'm sorry. It's called Fang in this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, thinking about uh, Dispatch in, in you know, how it was referred to in earlier versions of the game. But uh, anyway, so yeah, like I said, Celeste will, will just be using Runic every turn here. 
Um, it's the same deal as when we were fighting tunnel armor, right? You want to just make sure that uh, you don't accidentally hit it too early. And, uh, you know, if you need to swap to another character uh, in order to take a turn with them, uh, you don't, you just hit the, hit the, well, for me, I'm playing on a, on a, on a, contr uh, actually a PlayStation controller and I uh, hit the triangle button, uh, which again, you know, just skips to the next, uh, this, the next character. Uh, once you kill Kefka, again, obviously it, uh, all the, the, diff all the other soldiers disappear, so no problems there, but, uh, so that should be it. So that should be the, you know, the Fidor trooper and then the bounty man. Actually, and I'm, I'm, you know what? I shouldn't even bring up these names because I, I there's a good chance that I've that I've got them wrong. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, those specific formations you can see them all in the video there. There were the, those were the ones that we really wanted to get. Uh, and again, some of those are actually, with the except uh, with the exception of the mega armor, right? That was it was actually possible to get that prior to this. But uh, from this point on, though, they will not be available anymore. So. Uh, once you've, uh, you know, once you've done this, well, I should say, make sure that you uh, get those formations if you're looking for a full rage list. Uh, but anyways, all right, so we're up at the uh, the Esper, and this is where Terra, you know, reacts again uh, to this, uh, which is, uh, they, they named it Valley Garmanda in this uh, version of the game. I'm always used to, you know, try talk, but um, yeah, anyways... Which I, you know, I don't know, I thought was kind of appropriate calling it Tritalk because it teaches you, right, well, so it's Tri is the first, you know, part of it. And it taught you the the three, uh, was it, you know, well, I guess technically back then it was Fire 3, Ice 3, uh, Thunder, or Lightning, was it Thunder? Thunder 3. And uh, now it's, you know, the, the Agaz, I think it is, right? Yeah, or is it Ara? I can't remember. Now I can't remember. Jesus. <laughs> I can't remember the, what they call the, the third tier of the spells now. Oy, this, this is what happens. I'm telling you. Something happens. You get old. Get all forgetful. <laughs> it's got to be Ga, right? It's got to end in G-A. And aren't the Ara? Yeah, like Fyra is is Fire 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The G, the, the one they end in G-A. That's the third tier spell. Anyways. Yeah, it's, you know, another one of those deals where they, they renamed... I don't know, an, an Esper. I don't really know why they chose to rename that one. I, I but whatever. Just to, just to make me annoyed, that's probably, that was probably the, the rationale. Me specifically, not anybody else. It was just me. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so yeah, tra uh, Terra transforms and takes off. And uh, there we finally get the, you know, the kind of reveal that uh, Terra is not like the rest of the girls. She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... Like an Esper. Indeed. Indeed she did. Like Terra's Esper form. She looks really cool. But, uh, yeah. Alright, anyways. So, uh, from, from here on, uh, we're gonna grab some, some chests in the, uh, in Narsh here. Um, I'm trying to think now... Yeah, we're not we're not quite to uh, we're not quite to like recruiting certain characters and leaping Gao and stuff quite yet. But uh, we'll go we'll go head on over to Zozo after this. Uh, one thing that I will add uh, here that I uh, that I changed between uh, my original playthrough that I did recently and then this one was uh, on my way to Zozo. I had actually run into actually I think it was when I had left uh, when I was on my way back to Jador. I actually ran into a, uh, a formation that I did not want uh, to do, and I, I actually really wish I wouldn't have done that, and so this time around I made sure not to. Uh, the reason for that was uh, basically the, of the Zozo enemies, there's only three formations that we want to get total, and um, two of them go together, and then the third one is in, its, uh, it's in a separate pack. And the one that's in the separate pack is in the, in the same Velt pack as a lot of the monsters on the way uh, to Jidor or J Jidor, I, I don't know how to say that, that town, right? But, uh, and also Zozo. And so, um, again, you know, I wish I had, uh, on the, on the way out, I, I, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't thinking about it, but, um, uh, you know, I completely, completely blew it on that one. But, um, honestly though, the, the reason for, for doing that as well is just, I wanted to morph the, the it's called the, the Hill Gigas, that's the, the name of the monster from Zozo there. 
And, um, you know, if you're not glitching or if you're not able to anymore, right, if you're watching this years after I've <laughs> made these videos uh, and that's not possible anymore, then that's less of, a, of an issue, right? But um, for now, you know, it's, uh, I wanted to morph and they, they morph into the organics, which, uh, you know, isn't that great of a weapon, but uh, it actually is kind of interesting with the jump command and it actually is pretty good on Celeste right now. So Celeste with the organics and uh, and giving her Dragoon Boots is okay, because I end up spending a lot of time on the belt here. So, you know, it was a little bit of extra damage than she can really normally do. Um, but anyways, all right, so like I said, we, uh, you know, we raided the chests over there. That's finally got that, um, the Thief, br is it the thief, thief Glove or is it the Thief Bracer? Let me just see here. Now I can't remember. But uh, yeah, that one's uh, that one's gonna uh, make it so that uh, Lock can steal more often. It also gives him five agility, which is pretty pretty awesome, actually. Uh, you know, he's already really fast, and then to give him another boost like that, that's that's pretty pretty nice. Um, oh, and of course, I don't have it equipped on him. Boom, boom, boom. Thief's bracer, is it? It is called so. Um, Again, I uh, I really like that accessory, and I I have that on him almost. Yeah, there it is. I have that, or I leave that on him almost the rest of the game. Uh, it's pretty rare that that comes off, but uh, yeah. Anyways, we are pretty much done here. I believe in Narsh. There's uh, there's some other stuff that we'll need to probably buy, but uh, that'll be across the uh, across the mountains. So um, grab Gal. Uh, I think I took Edgar and Locke. And uh, we'll, we'll head on over to, to, to go take care of Zozo. But all right, that's all the time I got for this one. So as always, hope the guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.